No worries. Go ahead. Okay. Minister, can you um, give us an update on what's been happening inside? Have we a deal? Well, we've just finished uh, the plenary presentation. Um, the LRC uh, has concluded uh, a set of recommendations. Uh, those recommendations um, will now be sent uh, to the trade unions. I will brief um, uh, the, the Cabinet in relation to them, uh, but they are uh, a set of proposals uh, which meet the targets that we've set out. Uh, I understand how difficult uh, this whole process has been uh, for trade unions. Um, we're asking people to make yet another uh, contribution to fixing our broken economy. Um, there are real challenges uh, ahead of us, but um, I think that when people read uh, the proposals now, uh, they'll see, number one, they're uh, constructed in a way that impacts on everybody in a fair way. Uh, no individual sector of the public service is in any way targeted. Um, everybody is asked to make a fair contribution, and I've made it clear that this is, will be the last contribution that people uh, will be asked to make. Um, if this is agreeable um, to the trade union movement, uh, I think then we will have taken a significant further step on the very difficult, torturous path to economic solvency. Uh, it will give certainty to public sector workers in relation uh, to the next three years uh, and will allow people to plan uh, their own lives, uh, make their own planning and selling, you know, buying decisions, uh, knowing uh, that their income is protected. Uh, as I said, none of this is easy. Um, there's a, an ask of every public servant uh, to make an, a further contribution uh, knowing that they've already made a contribution, but it is absolutely necessary. I wouldn't, and the government wouldn't, have put, tabled these proposals um, if we didn't feel that it is an essential component of reaching our target of uh, economic solvency again. Minister, what are the proposals in broad well, the terms? The proposals will be set out uh, in a document from the Labour Relations Commission. I let them uh, look at them. They're, they're, they're quite uh, extensive. Uh, it's a complicated uh, set of proposals because uh, we want to ensure that everybody is impacted on in a fair way. Uh, so they're not simple. Uh, it is uh, an overarching set of proposals uh, that uh, deal with each sector separately uh, and that, as I said, in the round, I think people will conclude are reasonable and fair. Do we have a time frame for when the unions will be back to you? Well, it's a matter for the unions now. They have their own uh, processes. I imagine all will have to um, brief uh, their own executives uh, immediately, and I presume that will happen during the course of today. Um, I will brief the Cabinet. Um, Leticia Kantonisht obviously have been in touch during the night uh, and I have kept them abreast of it, uh, of the ongoing discussions. Um, I will brief the full Cabinet tomorrow and then we will see uh, how each trade union uh, to its own rules and regulations go goes about um, making a decision. Many obviously will require balance. Will you be briefing the EMC you... today, Minister? Um, I will brief, brief the, um, the Taoiseach Tanishta and uh, Minister Finance as soon as I go back to government building. What, what about the union ministers that have withdrawn from the process? The well, there are 290 odd thousand um, public servants. Um, some uh, trade unions have never been uh, keen on uh, collective agreements like this and haven't participated. Um, I urged everybody to be at the table and you can see and you will see uh, from the substantive recommendations from the LRC um, that they have made an impact in changing, modifying, altering um, the proposals that were tabled by the management side. Uh, so being at the table uh, has obviously been very impacted. Um, but at the end of the day, it, it will be for the majority of members of the public service uh, to make this decision. And I hope that they will do that in a reflective way, uh, understanding that um, this is a fair set of proposals and most of all a required set of proposals uh, to bring about economic recovery. But the unions necessarily won't be bound by this process. Sorry, I can't answer to it. Will you legislate if some of these unions refuse or their, their members refuse and turn down the ballot? Well, I've spent six weeks now um, in collective negotiations. Uh, that's the preference for this government, uh, to maintain the um, very well-embodied, uh, well-established uh, system of collective negotiations and agreement and I hope that that will run its course now uh, and let people um, reflect on the, the decisions, uh, look at what's on offer, um, appreciate the extraordinary circumstances the country is in 
and I hope that they will endorse it so that there will be no need for any legislation. But will you allow public servants who don't buy into this agreement to leave their existing terms and conditions unchanged? No, I made it clear once we embarked on this process that this was to encompass Croke Park. Uh, so this is um, a new agreement that will uh, encompass, as I say, uh, the provisions of Croke Park. Um, when it is agreed, this will be the new uh, binding agreement on everybody. All right? Thank you. Thank you.